And now, I like big trucks and I cannot lie. President Trump getting behind the wheel of a big rig today at the White House. <laughs> Doing his best Smokey and the Bandit, the president hopped in the cab of a semi during an event for truckers. <laughs> Trump also getting in the spirit with that button on his lapel, I heart trucks. The commander in chief loves his big machines. Just a month ago, Trump started a love affair with Air Force One, despite its ripe old age. That plane, as beautiful as it looks, is 30 years old. Can you believe it? What can look so beautiful at 30? But if only for today, the president's passion rolls on 18 wheels. He's found it down, loaded up and trucking. This has been I Like Big Trucks and I Cannot Lie. We'll be right back. And now, bye, Felicia, with Jerry Seinfeld and Kesha. Because people are tired most of the time. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you hugs? No, thanks. No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! Jerry Seinfeld wants nothing to do with your hug. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you hugs? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. Bye, Felicia. The comedian throwing a stone-cold rejection at an adoring fan who wanted a hug at a charity event. I am getting off the KISS program with her. Of course, Jerry isn't exactly known for getting physical with platonic friends and fans. I mean, if you could say, touch a breast as part of the KISS hello, <laughs> then I think I could see the value in it a little better. But maybe the best part of this epic brush-off is the fact that Seinfeld didn't even know who he was shooting down. <laughs> I don't know who that was. <laughs> yeah, that's Kesha. Sorry, Kesha, but Jerry Seinfeld still wants nothing to do with your hug. Yeah, that's Kesha. Okay, well, I wish you the best. Bye, Felicia. This has been Bye, Felicia, with Jerry Seinfeld and Kesha. We'll be right back. And now... Thunderstruck, brother. When it comes crashing down, it hurts inside. Sylvester Stallone says Hulk Hogan really brought the thunder during the filming of Rocky III. In a new Instagram post, Sly says Hogan, who played Thunderlips, didn't know his own strength and accidentally sent three stuntmen to the ER. <sighs> Stallone himself also took a beating at the hands of the Hulkster. <laughs> But after strolling down memory lane on social media, Rocky ended the story by saying it was a privilege to be mangled by such a gentleman. Hey, why'd you get so crazy on me out there? That's the name of the game. And you've just been thunderstruck, brother. And now, a troublemaker on the train. Long before he won the White House and even before he became a billionaire business mogul, Donald Trump was a regular old New Yorker. I'm walking here! I'm walking here! In fact, he even used to ride the subway, just not carefully. In a new interview with the New York Times, the president admits he used to ride between the cars while taking the F train. Yeah, our commander-in-chief was a teenage thrill-seeker. But just because the president did it, that doesn't mean you should. The NYPD Transit Bureau tweeting a reply to POTUS. Please don't ride between the subway cars. This has been a troublemaker on the train. <laughs> and now, that's so Putin. Russian President Vladimir Putin may have just out himself with his latest vacation snapshots. Once again, he's shirtless in the great outdoors. The Kremlin just released these new photos and videos of Putin's latest excursion. He spearfished, mushroom-picked, and sunbathed across southern Siberia. And if you're wondering just how cold that water is, it's a very chilly 60 degrees. But it's apparently never too cold for that shirt to come off. And this has been That's So Putin. And now, 39 people sexier than Pix11's Dan Manorino. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. Pix11 is congratulating Dan Manorino for making BuzzFeed's list of 50 hottest male news anchors in the world. Hey, hey, what about me? 
This reminds me of the old joke, and I'm paraphrasing here. I'd never want to belong to any club that would have someone like me for a member. Dan comes in at number 40, which means 39 other men supposedly bring a little more sex appeal. We don't agree. He's number one to us. This has been 39 people sexier than Pix11's Dan Manorino. We'll be right back. I'm a 